Mini mod showcase, this time airlock door, mod made by Steven and test 447. This door's main function is to keep your gases separated. It achieves that by vacuuming out the middle part between the two doors without blocking the duplicate's pathing. It also works like a charm to keep liquids in place or a mixture between liquids and gases. So the door basically works like a liquid lock but without the sopping wet debuff. Still transferring heat, but with the benefit of there being no possibility of your liquids freezing or evaporating. What the door is not supposed to be is a thermal insulator. This door can transfer heat just like any other door in the game. The power consumption of the door lies at 120 watts. And once it is fully loaded, it holds enough charge for seven uses. And even after that, it isn't fully depleted. It leaves a little bit of power so it can be recharged faster. The airlock door can be built from 400 kg of refined metal. For this specific door it is also advised to build the cable first. Otherwise, since you can't open the door when not powered, you won't be able to finish the cable. So just build the cable first, then the door and then the equipment that you need. You of course also have the option to select which tubes you want to let through or not. Like in every other door. In order to unlock this building you have to research improved ventilation. Another point for the door is I didn't manage to trap a single dupe inside of the door. Even though I tried. I personally think the door fits right into the base game of oxygen not included. Doing a good job of representing the in-game logic. 